Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second video on the singularity function and here we will be solving two problems. Now let's go through our strategy of problem solving. The important point is that anything that we refer to or use it has to be a singularity function and like this is ut we can use this function or you can use the invert of this function you can use the shifted of the u ut and you can use shifted invert and all possible options that we have like if you uh, if you reverse it on this side it will be u minus t so we can use that so only the singularity function this is the unit step function and similarly the uh, delta function or impulse function at and also the ramp function and the ramp function this is the original ramp rt and this is inverted this is shifted so only these type of functions we can use to break uh, a function into its components okay so let's start uh, with the example number 7.7 .7. In this we have to express this function which is a sawtooth function in terms of singularity functions. Okay, so let's find out the slope of this line. Uh, we know slope is y over x. This is the equation of the line y is equal to mx plus c. From here slope is y over x. Now in this case y is 10 and x is 2. So y over x is 10 over 2 is equal to 5. So slope is 5. So we'll use this slope. So the first thing we'll do is we draw a function of 5, slope 5, and ramp function rt. So this is 5 rt. We name it as v1. Now this is going up to t infinity. We need to limit it up to t2. So how do we do that? Okay. One way is that we draw another singularity function at this point but opposite of this. So it is 5RT in the positive direction. So we'll have negative 5RT in the opposite side or in the negative direction 5RT in the negative direction so the result will be that these two will get cancelled and so we'll have a straight line at this point for example from 10 if this is going to 11 this will go to 1 so 11 minus 1 will become 10 so it will be at on this line if this is going to 15 this will go to 5 so 15 minus 5 will be 10 that means it will remain on this line and now this is the summation of v1 and v2 we are calling this line as v2 so v2 is minus 5 r t minus 2 why t minus 2 because it is starting at t is equal to 2 and therefore it is shifted function so we will write it as t minus 2 going in the negative direction so negative sign 5 Okay, so the net result is something like this that after 2 it will become a straight line. But we don't need a straight line, we just need this function to finish at this point. So now if you look at this, only this part, this is actually a unit step function. This is u t function and since it is shifted, so we will call this 10 u t minus 2. So we got to eliminate this, so we will have or we need to draw or add another function in the negative direction as shown here we need to add another function ut at negative direction so this will be called minus 10 ut minus 2 and now these two will cancel so the net result will be 0 so we call this as v3 so v3 is minus 10 ut minus 2 and the net result will now be a function which is like this these two are getting cancelled so this is what we want this is the answer that we want this line actually is just 
what we call shosha. It's uh, just to beautify the things. There is no need of this, and this does not carry any value. So this is the function, but you can uh, write it like this as well. So the net result now, or the net value of this function, will be the summation of all these three. So we can say that the function vt is the sum of v1 plus v2 plus v3. And this is the answer. Now let's do the Okay, now the practice problem is very, very interesting. I hope you enjoy this. What we'll do is, we'll divide this into two parts. So we call it part one up to this point. This is part one. And then this is part two. And we'll solve them separately uh, to make it easier for us. Okay, now let's start with part one. We want to get this function. Now this is not a um, singularity function or this is not in the form of a singularity function. So we'll bring it uh, or we'll incorporate a singularity function uh, which is similar to this. Now we can draw a singularity function ramp function in the negative direction. And since the slope from here you can see that x is 1 and y is 2 that means slope is 2 so we'll have a negative slope of minus 2 for this function now although they look alike but this is starting from 0 whereas this function is starting from 2 so to get this function start from, from 2 we have to add 2 to all these terms so that this moves up now adding 2 means we have to add a unit step function of value 2. So you add a unit step function of value 2 with this. So this will now shift this whole thing up. So now you can see that the addition of the 2 has done has shifted the function up uh, 2.2 and its name will now be minus 2RT, this one, plus 2UT. So this is the name of this function. Now the difference between these two is that this is ending at t is equal to t, but this one is not ending at t, uh, t is equal to 2. Uh, this is going up to t infinity. So we have to curtail this, we have to finish this. And one way to do is, or the only way to do is, that we draw another function at this point, another singularity function or ramp function at this point of the same slope. So this is going negative, so we draw a function in the positive direction or positive. Okay, so this is the function we drew in the positive direction of the same slope. Uh, and so these two will be cancelling but it will remain constant at this point because whatever is the increase from here same amount of in increase is in the positive direction so they will cancel but the result will be a constant at this point. And the name of this function, since it is starting from t is equal to 2 and going in the positive direction, that is 2 or t minus 2. So now the net value, this was the earlier value, we will now add 2 rt with this. So this is the net value up to this point. And let's see the shape of the uh, circuit. So this becomes the shape. So from here, it will become a constant, that is becoming a constant line. But again, this line is continuing till t is equal to infinity. Now we need to eliminate this part as well to find this one. So again now we'll add a positive unit function at this point. So let's add a positive unit function. So we added a positive unit function at this point and its name will now be 2u t minus 2. So it is uh, because it is starting from t minus 2. So these two will now keep on cancelling till infinity and therefore the final result will be just this function. 
and the, in the values we'll add now this 2ut so this 2ut is added so this is the net value and finally we can say that we have achieved part 1 and this is the value of the function now let's go to part number 2 part 2 we want to get this value again we have to use a similarity function and this is the singularity function at this point uh, we're starting from t is equal to 2 so t is equal to 2 we have a singularity function and of the same slope because this one has also slope of 2 you can see x axis 1 and y axis is 2 so slope is 2 from here the so same slope 2 or t minus 2 because it's starting from 2 Now again you, you can see we need it to start from minus 2 this is starting from 0 so we have to add a minus 2 with this function that means we have to add minus 2 ut at this point so we are using a minus 2 ut minus 2 because it is starting from t is equal to 2 so we we'll write it minus 2 ut minus 2 and now if we add these two let's see what we get okay so we are getting this function because this is continuing up to t infinity so this is also continuing up to t infinity and the value now will be the summation of these two so this is the total value now this portion is extra we want to end it at t is equal to 3 so we have to again subtract this portion so this is eliminated So what we do is we draw another function in the opposite direction, in the negative direction of the same slope, minus 2, and its name will now be minus 2 or t minus 3 because it's starting at t is equal to 3. And now whenever you add, this will be 0, the summation of these two will be 0, so we achieve our this function. So the net result will be now adding this value also with the functional value so this is the final value or we can now draw neatly so we have achieved uh, what we wanted part 2 and this is the value now the total function will be the summation of part 1 and then part 2 so part 1 and part 2 this was the value for part 1 this is the value for part 2 so we adding the two will get the final values so it is the summation of this term plus summation of this term and then we rearrange and cancel the extra terms that we have so let's first of all rearrange and now you can see we have 2RT here and 2RT here so it will be 4RT minus 2 2UT minus 2 plus and minus 2UT minus 2 so these two will cancel so the final result that we will get is this is the final result so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, concentrate you will love this thank you